Hello, my name is Amy Ortiz, and today I'm going to be showing you the steps to join the J. Reuben Clark Law Society, create your account, and set up your JRCLS um, profile on the new website. So, to start, you're going to go to jrcls.org, and once you enter, you're going to see this blue button on in the middle of the page that says Join Now. Once you select that button, it's going to open this part where it's going to show um, the mission statement of the Law Society. Once you have read it and support the mission statement, you're going to select I support the mission statement and it'll open a part where you will be able to put in your information to create your account and join the Law Society. So you're going to start by putting your first name, your last name, you can select your education status whether you're a student, a professional, or other. I select student, and then um, here you can put the name of your law school. So I'm going to put J. Rubin Clark Law School. And then here you're going to select the year that you are in. Um, it can be the year in the past where you graduated in or where you will graduate. I will select 2022. And then here it's going to give you space to select the chapter. Um, just in this first initial creating your account, you can only select one chapter, but once you're in the process of setting up your profile, you can select more than one um, chapter that you would like to asso associate yourself with. Um, most people select the one closest to them so they can attend local events and service projects, but you can select whichever chapter you would like to be a part of. I will select the Utah Central, um, and then here, you can insert your email address. And then once you have inserted your email address, you're gonna also create your password. Um, then you have this little blue box that is checked and that means that JRCLS can contact you with any news or other information regarding the Law Society. And then here you have to check this other box and say that you agree with the privacy policy and the terms of use. Once you have agreed to that and filled out your information, then you can create your account and join the Law Society. Um, once you have done that, it notifies you that a confirmation link has been sent to your email. So you're going to go ahead and enter your email and see that there's this new email. And then um, here it welcomes you to the Law Society and asks you to click this link to confirm your registration. So once you have selected that, it says that your email address has been verified and you can go back to your email and you will see that you have received a second email. And here it says, um, now that you've confirmed your registration, please log in and set up your profile. And I will show you the steps to set up your profile. And here it also gives you a link to the Gravatar website, which is where you're gonna input a picture to set up on your profile. So if we go back to the JRCLS website and we log in using our email, and using our password that we created and log in. You will see that your first name should appear at the top right corner and once you hover your mouse over it, you'll be able to see um, view your profile. And here you'll see that you can only see the information that you have input into um, when you created your account. So the Utah Central, your school, the graduation year. And here you see that either you will have no picture and it'll just be a generic like um, person icon, or if you have a past Gravatar account with no pictures in it, you'll see this blue symbol. And if you have a Gravatar account with an image on it, then it should appear on here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to input an image into Gravatar. And if you go back to your email where they send you that Gravatar account link, you're gonna select that. And once you're on the Gravatar page, you'll see that you can create your own Gravatar with this blue button in the middle of the page. And when you create your Gravatar account, you want to make sure you use the same email address you used to create your JRCLS account. 
That way, the accounts will link together and the photo that you input into Gravatar will automatically transfer into your JRCLS profile. If you already have an account, you'll select already have a WordPress account and you'll sign in using your email or username. And then the password for this. Once you have entered into Gravatar, you're going to select add a new image here at the bottom and then select upload new. Then you're going to choose a file from your downloads and I'm just going to look it up. This one, it's a profile picture. Then I'm going to open it and then select next. Then here you can adjust where your picture lays and make sure that it's centered or features what you want it to. And then you're going to go ahead and crop your image. Then you can select here that um, Gravatar is suitable for display on all websites in any audience type or you can adjust it accordingly and then set the rating. And then you're going to select your picture and confirm. And then once you do that, um, it might take a little bit. If we go back into our profile, you'll see that it's still that symbol. Um, sometimes it takes a couple hours, a couple minutes. Um, give it at least a day until it will automatically update your picture on here. So I'm just going to refresh this page. And then to edit the information here on your profile, um, you're just going to select this button at the top right saying edit. And here you can edit any information that you have already input, like your name, your last name. You can select your gender, male, female, or other. You can input a biography text to tell a little bit more about yourself. I have the text that I just copied and pasted. Um, I had already written it before. Just to give an example, um, you can change your educational status, your school, your graduation year. Um, you can your email is the first email that you created your account with is going to stay the same and you can't change that because that's your account email. But you can add another email, you can add a phone number, and you can add multiple. You just select. And then to erase, you just select the X up on the right side. Um, then here you can add a street address, apartment, city, state, um, a zip code. You can put your country. I'm going to select United States. You can also put any professional focuses and select from the list. I'll just select criminal defense. And then here you can put in your license jurisdictions and you can put your um, bar number and to D select you just click the X. Then um, here you can input your languages. You can put as many as you speak. I'll put Spanish. Um, I can also put in English. And then to erase any of them, you can also click the X. And here you can put any employer information. Um, here you can edit the chapters. You'll see that you have the chapter that you had already input in the beginning, but you can add multiple. So let's say I want to be um, part of the Mexico City West chapter as well, then you can input more than one. And then here you can put in links to your Facebook account, your LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or other, uh, maybe a website. Um, and that way when you save all of your information, people will be able to come to your um, profile on the JRCLS website uh, as members, and then they will be able to see that and connect with you and create more of a networking experience within the Law Society. So once you have input all of the information you would like to have, then you're going to select save at the bottom. And then here it says your profile has been su successfully updated. And as you can tell, the picture hasn't yet, but we're going to give it a little bit. Sometimes if I switch to a different part of the website, it updates. So if you guys have any questions, 
um, for me or for anybody on the external relations team, you can select contact us at the bottom of the page. And here you'll be able to find an email where you can reach us, also a phone number. Um, so hopefully if you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, as you can tell, like I said, sometimes when you go to a different page on the website, it updates. So if I go back to my profile, you'll see that my picture was updated. Um, it is automatically transferred from my Gravatar account and the profile has all of the information that I updated. So hopefully this video was helpful. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us and yeah, thank you.